happy 60th birthday. This video is filled with videos and birthday greetings from your family and friends. And we threw in some bonus footage for some giggles and smiles. So I hope you enjoy and just know how special and loved you are. And happy birthday. Enjoy. L. Happy birthday, Chuck! <laughs> Leo, say, sing happy birthday to Grandpa Chuck. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa Chuck. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Mommy. Happy birthday, Chuck, to my wonderful son-in-law and his 60th birthday. I hope you have a really good day. And even if I'm not with you, I'll be thinking about you. And maybe Terry will get you a little pie or a cake. And you can have a piece for me, too. Okay? Okay, you have a wonderful day, Chuck. Hey Chuck, Tom Harris here, uh, wanting to wish you a very happy 60th birthday. Uh, we've had the good fortune of uh, many good years working together and uh, not in the recent past, but uh, we have had the opportunity to catch up a couple times uh, over the past few years and enjoyed those, enjoyed uh, keeping tabs on what's going on with you in, the, in your work life and your personal life. Uh, and uh, I uh, want to just briefly reminisce about our time together uh, you know, in 2001. Uh, Prudential demutualizes uh, in that year, uh, 2001, brokerage represented 18% of the total life sales and 82% was a career side. Um, and then you and I and a bunch of other great teammates uh, got involved with uh, Proof Select Brokerage and uh, you know had a great number of years of uh, fantastic growth with our BGA partners. And one of the things I remember about my time with you, Chuck, in our many years together at Prudential, um, was uh, a, a couple of uh, times that the, we got together for scotch and cigars. And uh, first one I remember, uh, we were at an AIN meeting in New York City. And it was uh, AIN at the time, had 14 BGAs connected to it. So it tells you how long ago it was. And it was my birthday. So we went to the Oak Room, which is a fantastic bar at the Plaza Hotel. Uh, bartender there is named Orlando, I remember distinctly. And uh, he overheard that it was my birthday and Orlando set us up with uh, some free drinks. Uh, and uh, I also remember, this tells you how long ago it was, you and I sat there and had a cigar at the bar. So uh, that was uh, a very fond memory. Uh, fast forward, uh, we had many nail bows together and uh, not only did we do you, <laughs> I didn't, but I, uh, I fully supported the Brew Idol. Uh, and and uh, the great entertainment and fun uh, that that created. But we also had cigar martini bars. I used to go to a local uh, beer distributor, buy you know lots of boxes of cigars, bring them to Nelba, and uh, we'd have martinis and cigars, and uh, it attracted tons of uh, folks, and that became, became a signature event for us, along obviously with the Idol, which became even a bigger event, uh, and probably healthier, uh, so that's probably a good thing. Uh, the third and final time I'll, I'll point out was uh, in Hong Kong. Um, it was uh, you and I were over there with Stephen Kagawa and the Pacific Bridge team, Jose May, uh, and uh, uh, on a final night we went to a, a really nice bar in the hotel. We were staying in Kowloon, and uh, we get scotches, and uh, they had Cuban cigars, so we got Cuban cigars, and we're sitting there drinking our scotches, smoking our cigars, and uh, there's a picture behind you. And uh, I say, Chuck, do you know who that is? And, and you turn around and look at it and go, oh yeah, that, that's Sebastian Cabot. And uh, I about spit out the scotch that was in my mouth at that point, because uh, it was not Sebastian Cabot. Oh, Probably make that happen. That's going to be a, a pretty big acquisition, though. Um, wait, 
Guys, hold on, hold on. Something way more important is going on. Hey, Dad. Hope you have a great 60th birthday. You're the best. Hi, Chuck. Happy 60th birthday coming straight from Finley, Grace, and I. Happy birthday! We are so grateful for your friendship, your mentorship, and the way that your kind soul touches so many. We hope this is the best year yet, and um, it's full of love and laughter. Hopefully we'll be able to see you one day soon and you'll get to meet little Finley Grace in person. You take care. We miss you. Happy birthday, Chuck. Hope you have the best day. Chuck. Happy hey. birthday, Chuck. <laughs> We're FaceTiming right now. Does this work? No. Say bye. Happy birthday. Love you. Hey, Chuck. Wanted to say happy birthday to you. Hope all is well. And uh, wanted to, again, just wish you a happy 60th birthday. Hard to believe uh, that you are turning 60 already. Uh, but wanted to, again, just say happy birthday. Hope you get to spend lots of time with those cute grandbabies of yours and get lots of hugs from them and enjoy the upcoming year and enjoy your 60s and take care and hope to see you soon. Happy birthday, Chuck. Chuck, thank you for being just the best guy ever. Thank you for all of the long talks we have in the car when we're together, when I just talk and you listen, I appreciate that. Thank you for being a great grandpa and being such a great example for Dana and helping to turn her into such an incredible woman. Thank you for always being in a good mood and smiling and thinking of the positive things. Um, thank you for just being you. Happy 60th birthday. See you soon. Hey, happy birthday, Chuck. Oh, hang on, I don't need this. Oh, there we go. Hey. Just wanted to send happy birthday greetings, uh, 60th birthday, and uh, just wanted to let you know I was thinking about you on your birthday and was going through some old pictures and I happened to find this picture. And um, I think it worked out pretty good to bring this up for the birthday because you were about six here back in the, that day. And I don't know if you remember, but we used to um, terrorize Ruthie and Susie um, running around the house, uh, sometimes without clothes on, um, making them embarrassed with their boyfriends. Um, we used to just play fun games with that, and I remember that and have happy memories of being Hector and Rector uh, growing up. And just some of the other things that I appreciate so much about you is, like when I needed help during college, I remember you coming up once to Moorhead and helping me buy a car. And I don't know if you remember that, but you kind of acted like my lawyer. And so that really helped a lot because we scared the salespeople and we got a good deal um, when we did that. And just some of the other things that you did over the years, you know, helping with like getting the Lake Okoboji reunions together, um, have just great memories about that. And it's been great just having you in the Twin Cities and being close by. Um, appreciated so much all the times you came up to see Jessica in the play um, for Trollwood and so just definitely wanted to send you a happy happy birthday for your 60th uh, it seems hard to believe that you're turning 60 
Um, but you have to remember, 60 is the new 50. So um, you've got a long way to go and to enjoy life and um, just really appreciate having such a great big brother. Um, happy birthday and have a great day. Happy 60th birthday, Grandpa Chuck. I am incognito singing a song to Chuck because I don't sing well. Here we go. It was a short six decades ago when God sent an angel to us below. A guy we've all come to know as a kind and generous dude. When it comes to virtues, where do we start? With your vocal magic or your great big heart? Or the fact that you're so darn smart and the wisdom you impart? So how do we celebrate the 60th birthday of Chuck the Great? We all want to emulate and have pipes like yours. Some will sing and some will dance. Pop out of a cake if I get the chance. Or we'll fly you off to France in William Sloan's bicycle pants. Look at all you've done in life. 24 great kids and awesome wife. You've come through successes and some strife, and you're still a great dude. You're someone we're proud to know. Our admiration continues to grow. If we truly reap what we sow, you'll be so grandly blessed. Happy birthday, Chuck Anderson. Happy birthday to you. From the incognito singer. Happy 60th, Dad. Cheers. Hello, Chuck. Happy birthday from Taiwan. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Chuck. Happy birthday, Chuck. Thank you for the delicious Rice Krispie bars, for the many father-daughter dances, for the special birthday Instagram collages, for trips to the Yellow Barn, for feeding the bunnies with Greta, for the super fun days in the pool swimming all summer long, and most importantly, for making everyone in our family feel so special and so loved. I hope you have an amazing 60th birthday. Love you. Hi Chuck, it's Fred Burkhart. Sitting here in the sweltering heat the smoke-filled air with hair down my back, all to risk life and limb, put it all online just to wish you a happy birthday, which I do happily. Uh, when we traveled together, Chuck, um, worked together, you told me more than once how much you had learned from the RBDs, RBPs. Just want to take a minute to let you know how much I learned from you. I learned kindness and respect from you, Chuck. I never saw you treat anybody in any other way. And most importantly, I don't think I ever heard a discouraging word or heard a discouraging comment about anything, anybody from you. That became very important to me. As you know, I took a pretty serious blow a couple years ago. Don't think I'm over it. Uh, don't think I want to get over it. But I got through it, and one of the reasons I got through it was thinking about your good, positive attitude. So with that, Chuck, 
Uh, I want to wish you and Terry many birthdays together in the future. And take it from someone who knows Chuck. Give her a hug every day. Happy birthday. Seeing a thing like that. Hey Dad, this is take number 105 because Cody can't stop laughing, but just wanted to say happy birthday, happy 60th. I think this will be your best decade yet, and thanks for being the best dad ever. Hey Chuck, happy birthday, it's your 60th pretty amazing. Um, I'm going to just tell a couple quick stories. Um, the first one, no, actually two, these two things happened when Chuck was two and he almost died, I would say, in both, certainly one. And he, he can tell you the story better than I can, but, or maybe he can't, because I don't know if he remembers, but he was two and we were sitting watching TV and he started choking. He had, was eating a jawbreaker. I don't know what kind of mom lets her two-year-olds <laughs> eat a jawbreaker, but our mom did. And um, all of a sudden, Chuck got the jawbreaker stuck in his windpipe and he, he couldn't even talk. And he put his hands to his ears, that's what I remember. Anyway, the squad came and as you, can imagine he survived so uh, not not terrible but interesting and then um, another story when Ross, uh, Chuck was two he was um, I he was missing nobody knew where he was and keep in mind you know we had four kids in our family so anyway Chuck we don't know where Chuck is he's two and um, I find him, he is a, more than a block away, riding his tricycle up the street, you know, just heading up, that's going up the street. So he was going to just, he was, I don't know <laughs> where he was going. And then the other two stories he can give you more details about. But one was um, he and Billy Gallagher, oh crap. He, <laughs> he and Billy Gallagher, um, and Jimmy had to hide in the um, closet. No, they were hiding in the closet from the policeman. He can give you more details than that. And then the other one was when um, I was in college and he was a teenager, young, very young teenager. And I was not, maybe one would say not the nicest person, but <laughs> I would, when Chuck and I would be driving down the street together in the car, I would roll, I'd see some girl that, who knows, if he even knew who she was, but I would always roll down my window and say, Chucky loves you. So those are some memories I have. Anyway, happy birthday, Chuck. And um, you've been a great brother. And I'm glad I got to know you. Try that slide chat at the pool at the, by that help Hey Chuck, happy 60th birthday. We really appreciate everything you do for all of us and I hope that you're having a good day. And uh, thanks for being a good role model for all of us growing up. So, uh, Chuck wants me to record this one, man. I got me had to catch you. So Chuck, here's what I do. I sit in my basement, think about all the time, good times we had together. Rock star, 60 years, man, 60 years of excellent. You're the best, my man. Hoping that we can get back to normal soon, whatever normal is for the two of us. But I hope your 60th birthday is thrilling, exciting, and let's get together soon. Happy birthday, 
tell you. Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? Not three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa. Happy birthday to you. Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? Are you four? Are you five? Are you six? Okay, take three from the Dalkies. Hey, Chuck, happy 60th birthday from Chad, Shelly, Keaton, and Kenley. You're 60. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Have a good one, Chuck. Oh, hey, Chuck. Uh, Just want to say happy birthday. 60 years old, man. It's pretty young. Just saying. Uh, FaceTime with my mom right now, so we'll see if this goes through. Happy 39th birthday, Chuck! Greetings from Texas. Um, hey, you should know that someone is out there spreading lies that you are turning 60. I already told them that wasn't true because no 60-year-old I know wears such fancy socks. However, you may want to consider eliminating that person from your life altogether. Anywho, I hope you have a fabulous birthday full of cake and cookies and ice cream that all count for zero calories. And I hope that your family celebrates you and you all enjoy a wonderful day together. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays and virtual hugs from afar and really hope we get to see you sometime soon. Take care, Chuck. Bye. Oh, I'm gonna die! We're all gonna die! We're all gonna die! Button it up, pal! Nobody likes a whiner! Oh, hi there! Oh, happy 60th birthday! Happy 60th birthday, honey! You're the best husband, the best dad, and the best grandpa. As soon as we can put this yucky 2020 year behind us, we're going to do lots of celebrating, and I think we deserve a nice vacation at a beach somewhere to relax. I love you. 